SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It is week four in the NFL, and right now we're starting things off, as always, taking a look at the Thursday night game with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Very interesting Thursday night game this week, the uh, Niners at the Rams. Joe Duffy, thanks for being back with us this week. Thank you, Peter. Let's pick some more winners. So you are, uh, what, 7-3 and three against the spread overall uh, in our videos. How'd you do this week at uh, OffshoreInsiders.com? We are 20 and 9 in the NFL. That goes back to week three of the NFL preseason. College football had some uh, crazy things happen, but we're still ahead for the entire year. College and pro combined preseason and regular season. And we're about to have a phenomenal weekend this year, uh, this weekend in college football as well. All right. Well, here we go. The Niners at the Rams on Thursday night. The Niners are a three point road favorite. And what can you say about these two teams? I mean, the Rams. Mm -hmm looked like ass against Dallas last week. I mean, is that, is that too strong of a word? I mean, they look like, especially on offense. I mean, Sam Bradford, how many times? He got sacked like four or five times. He got hit like eight other times. It was just terrible. I mean, their, their offense just looked like they don't have any weapons. Yeah. They're not calling any creative plays. They're not getting anything done. It looks very predictable, very easy to stop. But the Niners, though, I mean, what is wrong? What's up with Colin Kaepernick? Is he likely to bounce back here and show glimpses of his old self? I mean, he's looking, you know, very cautious. He's not looking nothing like, um, like the explosive, dynamic, you know, read option quarterback that he was last year. The question is, which of these teams is more likely to correct their problems on this short week? I have to think it's the Niners, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. What do you think? Well, most people are going to say the Niners, but yeah. remember before the year started, one of the things I said that I was going to look to probably fade these second-year quarterbacks that mm -hmm. had phenomenal years last year, not necessarily the guys like Ryan Tannehill, who was so-so last year and has really uh, done what quarterbacks traditionally did. They would get better each and every year. But Colin Kaepernick, remember, he wasn't even a starter at the beginning of last year. His track record was phenomenal, but it was short. And he has struggled, and quite frankly, that's not that big of a surprise to me. He's only 26 out of 56 the last two games. One of the more telling statistics is throwing down the field. Last year, he completed 55.6% of his throws that were in the air, 10 yards or more. This year, just 37.8%. I actually look for St. Louis to be the more likely team to bounce back for a couple reasons. Number really? one, I'm going to use, you know what I like to say, predictably unpredictable. Mm -hmm. St. Louis has a lot of young players on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Young teams tend to look great one week, terrible the next week, and vice versa. Plus, most importantly, young teams tend to play much better at home than they do on the road. Mm -hmm. The home team is 3-0 and straight up in the Rams games this year. And talk about splits. Colin Kaepernick, in his career, seven touchdowns and only one interception at home. Problem is, for him, he's going to the road where his touchdown and uh, interception ratio in his career is now six and six. He's dead even on the road. So he's been a, an okay quarterback on the road. And when you're laying three points or three, three and a half points on the road, you got to be better than an okay quarterback. So, no, I would say the home dog jumps out at me. All right. But what about this? First of all, Bradford got pounded last week, right? So he got pounded yeah, on a question. Sunday. He's coming yes. back on a Thursday. <laughs> Second of all, the Rams' play calling just doesn't look like it's it's just very smart. Yeah. They're passing a lot, but they're short passes that are easy to defend. And Kaepernick's problems for, for you know, all, whatever you want to say about him, they do look like they're mostly mental. He's looking to try to, like, you know, he's yeah. looking to, you know, not make mistakes, maybe not get hurt. And if he can somehow change that, it looks like his problems are more mental, whereas St. Louis's problems are more fundamental, not to mention the beating that Bradford took. What do you make of all that? No, you are correct. And I will say this, that over the past few years, it was amazing how much better St. Louis's offense was when Steven Jackson was healthy. Obviously, he's here in Atlanta right now and not necessarily healthy. So that was a big loss. And they're showing that they don't have much of a running game. But it is very correctable. They can change their play calling. And as I said, that that's, you know, I bet on teams to be erratic that are as young as St. Louis is. It's You are correct. It is tough to make a powerful argument on behalf of St. Louis, <laughs> right. other than the fact, as I said, they are at least returning home where they did win their one home game this year. But there's no question that in Thursday night, it's more of a case of who you're going to go against. You can't make a strong argument going for either team. Yeah, the 49ers 
were very close to winning the Super Bowl last year, but they've been atrocious this year. And as we said, Kaepernick is now facing that burden of the high expectations. But again, the, the way the 49ers are playing and with St. Louis seems to have that makeup of a team that does look great one week and terrible the next week or vice versa, still think the percentage play is the home underdog. What do you make of the total? The total opened at 44. It's gotten bet down to like 42 or 42 and a half. Mm -hmm. I mean, with the potential that Kaepernick has and, you know, if, if, if I mean, the Rams do pass a lot, so that, you know, uh, promotes the over. Do you think maybe the over might be worth a shot? Yeah, you are correct. And remember, Sam Bradford throughout his career, you know, he started out, he had a great rookie year, then he went downwards, which is, again, as I said, mm -hmm. why I like to bet against those quarterbacks coming off of good rookie years. But then he started to show some signs of life last year. So, yeah, both of these, the, the total has taken into consideration the offensive struggles that each team has had. If this game were played opening week, the total would be much higher. Right. So I, I would say fade the over adjustment. I'd probably lean towards the over. You would be, yeah, so would I. All right, but your official pick on this game is going to be what? I will go with the home dog, the uh, St. Louis Rams, possibly to win this game outright. Wow. All right, you like the Rams plus three. I'm going to have to go against you, Joe. San Francisco minus three. We'll see how it turns out, though. Thanks, Joe.